Hi there. Um, I was thinking the other day, uh, believe me, it does happen, that, um, well, two things really. One, it would be really useful to have an SDR that I could take out on my ad hoc de expeditions, which generally tend to occur on a Friday afternoon, which is actually when I'm recording this video. Um, but also, I'm going back to Brazil, which is now booked, <coughs> excuse me, for the 4th of March. And although I'm going to be taking the brilliant Eaton satellite with me, um, would have been useful, uh, interesting, to collect some spectrum recordings whilst I was over there. Um, now, obviously I have the ELAD FDM Duo, which I have taken out on de-expeditions, but the ELAD itself is quite large, quite heavy, requires uh, a battery pack or the new lead acid rechargeable battery that I bought for it. And that's quite a lot of stuff to lug from my house into the car, let alone, you know, carry in a backpack. Um, for a mile or two uh, on a Friday afternoon, let alone drag all the way to Brazil, which led me to think about my new Alec RTL SDR, which I bought, I don't know, about a year, maybe more than a year ago. Um, I got it with the up converter so that I could use it obviously on shortwave. Um, and when I originally started using it, um, it was with my MacBook Pro, uh, which worked well, but um, you know, those MacBooks, they cost a bloody fortune. It was over a £1,000. I can't remember exactly. Maybe it was like £1,300. And you don't really want to be dragging a laptop that costs that much into the middle of a muddy field. Um, so I loaded SDR Sharp onto my Windows 10 laptop, which only cost sort of 300 quid. And I've loaded it onto this laptop, which is my work laptop. Um, and what I've done is I've taken my little patch cable which goes from BNC to a kind of banana plug type uh, socket and then I've got a length of wire that literally just hangs up over that window. So this is a signal from Saudi Arabia. Now the thing with um, RTL SDRs is that you know they are quite good but they don't give you the sort of performance uh, that's provided by a sort of fully blown SDR such as a Perseus or um, ELAD or probably even the SDR Play. But in terms of portability, those two devices uh, would, can be just thrown into a rucksack. Um, when I go to Brazil, I'm taking a laptop anyway. Um, and if I'm out on an ad hoc de expedition on a Friday afternoon with the dog, um, a laptop, the dongle, and the up converter, you know, that can be put into a rucksack and uh, easily taken to uh, the field or, or the woods or wherever um, and so I think that that's actually quite an interesting proposition I mean the other thing is that I was comparing the uh, dongle with um, the Eaton last night and um, the Eaton on shortwave um, is a better receiver however um, the RTL SDR can see carriers and signals that uh, without audio um, and that you don't get any audio from the Eaton either. So it's actually quite a useful tool to be able to look at a spectrum, um, even if you're DXing with a portable and just to actually look at signals and how they're changing, etc. cetera. Um, so that coupled with my Windows 10 laptop, which I am prepared to take out into the middle of the field, um, I think is gonna give me um, you know, another option when I'm uh, out uh, DXing uh, on a Friday afternoon. And so I thought I would share that with you. So this is a, a noisy office, although most of the computers are off, and this is Saudi. Um, and I haven't spent much time playing with the controls, but SDR Sharps actually, I, I, I quite like it. Um, I've tried... Uh, uh, other SDR software packages kind of on a um, on a sort of very regular basis and um, other than obviously the ELAD FDM uh, SW2 software which is great this is actually my next favorite and but there are features regarding the software that I actually prefer um, when you kind of tune uh, as you, as you go up in frequency, you know, the, the kind of 
the cursor moves away from the centre of the screen um, or moves back again and if you keep going and then so you're basically off off centre from the display but then when you zoom it kind of snaps back in uh, which I quite like um, the fact that you can there's so, there's a lot of adjustment in this software actually uh, waterfall speed um, IF spectrum with or without a filter um, and uh, enabled um, audio spectrum there's lots and lots of stuff uh, snap to grid um, it's actually pretty fully featured um, and I'm looking at it now and I'm actually beginning to think that it might actually be there might be more uh, flexibility in terms of how you operate this and uh, view the signals than there is on the uh, ELAD software. Um, I have to say that although I've been using it two or three days um, it really is excellent uh, and it's free which is always the best. Um, what's interesting is that the frequency correction uh, when I've used this dongle with uh, with the Mac um, was also around 90 ppm uh, and it's exactly 90 ppm um, with this software or with this computer but I guess that kind of makes sense it basically just means that the dongle is 90 ppm off from where it should be uh, but I'm enjoying using it and um, I'm looking forward to uh, to ch chucking a laptop in my rucksack with the dongle and with the up converter and with you know 100 meters of wire and um, and taking that out into the field on a Friday afternoon late afternoon early evening and see let's see if that signal from Mali which is only just discernible uh, on any of my radios you know let's see what that actually looks like on this spectrum that would be quite amazing if um, you could you know you could actually see the carrier uh, from from Mali or Guinea or wherever you know with an RTL SDR now what I haven't done is much research I don't know um, how much exotic DX has ever been caught on a on a RTL SDR um, but it would certainly be interesting uh, and for me it's never going to be the mainstay of my DXing activities obviously you know I have the Elad and the Wellbrook Batman and Robin you know that sort of combination you know second to none really um, but it's there's no doubt that it will make my uh, ad hoc the expeditions uh, a bit more interesting um, and with a sort of fully charged battery you know I might get an hour or two um, uh, of you know SDR of SDR use um, while I'm out and about so uh, so there you go um, I won't bother doing an actual review of the software because I'm sure it's been done a million times before uh, SDR Sharp's been around for a while um, all, all I can say is that in the two or three days while well, I you know I probably used it in total for about an hour um, but you know I get um, uh, yeah I get a good feeling about this software you know it, it works really well um, and the user interface is excellent um, in terms of setting it up it literally took about 30 seconds uh, and I recommend it to uh, anyone else so so there you go, uh, that's it, that's Friday afternoon. Normally by this time I'd be either walking down to the field with a radio uh, and some wire and the dog, um, or I'd already be listening by now, but um, I thought I'd take this opportunity to uh, share this with you. Uh, and I'll look forward to when I get to Brazil with this kit, setting it up, um, hopefully with a longer antenna, and um, let's record some actual spectrum uh, in the middle of the Amazon jungle. So other than that, I'd like to wish you all very good DX and a nice weekend. Thanks for watching.